हेलो वेलकम टू द शॉर्टकट्स ऑफ अल्टरनेशन ऑफ जेनरेशन लाइफ साइकिल पैटर्न्स लाइक हैप्लॉन्टिक डिप्लॉन्टिक एंड हैप्लो डिप्लॉन्टिक हैप्लॉन्टिक हैप्लॉन्टिक मींस मोर हैप्लॉइड एंड लेस ऑफ डिप्लॉइड व्हाट हैपेंस हियर हियर द स्पोरोफाइट जेनरेशन इज वेरी लेस ओनली दिस मच इज द स्पोरोफाइट जेनरेशन दैट इज टू एन डिप्लॉइड द स्पोर्स are formed by meiosis from the zygote and later on these spores divide mitotically they undergo mitotic division to form a gametophyte gametophyte is free living photosynthetic and dominant photosynthetic means they are independent they don't depend on the other generation means sporophyte generation the gametophyte is the main generation that is n haploid gametophyte undergoes gametogenesis and then they undergo syngamy to form zygote that is diploid the sporophyte generation is a one celled zygote it is not free living this kind of alternation of generation or life cycle occurs in volvox spirogyra and chlamydomonas mostly in chlorophyce in the next diplontic here we see the haploid phase is just a little one this much the diploid phase or the sporophyte phase is the major phase the diploid phase or sporophyte is dominant photosynthetic and i told you that photosynthetic means they are independent because they are autotrophs the gametophyte is single to few celled this occurs in fucus fucus is a brown algae but in gymnosperms and angiosperms also the same life cycle occurs the diplontic life cycle but only difference is in case of fucus it is few celled in case of angiosperm it is multi celled that is only the difference now here the third one haplodiplontic this is almost half half the diploid sporophyte is short lived multicellular totally or partially dependent on the gametophyte and the gametophyte is dominant independent independent means photosynthetic and thalloid in case of bryophytes but in case of pteridophytes the picture is the other way round that means the sporophyte is diploid dominant independent and photosynthetic as well as vascular but the gametophyte is multicellular independent and short lived in pteridophytes here almost same same almost same this is the main difference which you have to remember in which type of plants is this condition prevalent in short lived multicellular diploid phase and dominant independent haploid phase you have to say bryophytes in which 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 type of plant the diploid is dominant independent and photosynthetic and the haploid is multicellular independent and short lived you have to say pteridophytes okay that much only you have to remember so if you have liked my video then please do subscribe don't forget to subscribe okay thank you